There are just five players of the Auckland team who took part in last year's win over the touring Great Britain side. Dave Watson, Mike Patton, Kelly Shelford, Shane Hansen and Francis Loyota. They tasted victory on that occasion, but they all know it will be a lot harder tonight. And there are six players who took on Australia while playing for the President's 13 last week. Number 10, George Mann, gained the respect of the Aussies in Palmerston North. And if Auckland are to be a threat tonight, a player like George Mann is going to have to have a blinder. There are six players in the Australian side who were part of the starting lineup in last Sunday's first test win over the Kiwis in Christchurch. Dal Shearer, the test winger, has moved to fullback. Michael Hancock is on the wing. Tony Curry in the centres. Greg Alexander, halfback. Sam Becko, a prop. And Paul Borton at loose forward. He's also the captain tonight. And 11 of the th uh, starting 13 that played in the tour opener are in tonight's lineup. The referee for tonight's match is Bill Shrimpton from Auckland. And Greg Alexander gets this third match on the Australian Tour underway. This is Shane Hansen running it out in his own 22. The pressure's going to be right on this Auckland team in the opening stanza tonight. That's Thompson getting a serve early on. George Mann, but driven back by the Kangaroos. And the first mistake there. Pressure telling on to Dickow. So the Aussies well and truly in an attacking position now inside the 22. Hasler, out to Jackson. But he's wrapped up over there. 20 metres out from the Auckland line. Martin Bella, looking for a big game tonight. He missed out on the first test selection. Backo leaves it behind, picked up by Francis Leota. So Auckland can breathe easy for a while. This is Ramsey running from dummy half. And that's the Auckland quarter line. Now the clearing kick. The captain tonight for Auckland, Kelly Shelford. Hancock, this man has speed to burn. He can't go far there. Knocked over, loses the ball gone backwards and the referee's going to call the first scrub of the match. It's a bit of an overstart by both sides but this Auckland team looked pretty well fired up and a good crowd in here. Officials will be very pleased indeed and the weather is fine for the match. The first penalty coming up now. Now Auckland have a bit of a problem. Because uh, they don't have a regular kicker. Peter Brown was a late replacement and Phil Bancroft of course has been called into the Kiwis and Kelly Shelford I believe will be kicking at goal but a little bit out of his range there so we see the tap now and there storming up the fired up George Mann on the verge of test selection Shelford the pivot out to Thompson Got out of Thornton's tackle. And the crowd right behind the Aucklanders. Peter Rowe party waiting for it at dummy half. Switch of play back to the open side. Ramsey. Good work. This is the fullback Munga Tongi are into the move. Out to Hanson. Back to Leota. Auckland throwing it around. Into Nikau. He's only about 50 metres out from the line. Auckland on the rampage. Rowe party down the blind side. Manages to stay in touch. Hanson. And that's the fifth tackle. Now it's helping with a little rubber kick through. Into the end goal. It's lying loose in the ground. A try! The first score of the match. And Mike Patton is in for Auckland. Oh, a costly mistake by Michael O'Connor. And a great start by this Auckland side tonight. Well, Michael O'Connor made a mess of this. Well placed by Shelford. But he had plenty of time to scoop that one up. And made a complete mess of it. Looking at it from another angle now. As you can see, no Aucklanders in sight. And Michael O'Connor, my goodness. 
Patton right on the spot. Auckland captain Kelly Shelford trying to add the extra points. And it's waved away. As I mentioned, Auckland without a regular goal kicker, so it's 4 to nil, And we've had four minutes in play. So, Greg Alexander with the restart. And Leota. Yeah, there's the ball 20 metres short of halfway. Well, let's see what the Australians can reply. And there's some strong running again from George Mann. Oh, but that's a bad mistake thrown to nobody. Ramsey's back there to pick it up. And then we held up by Hasler on the quarter line. Shelford getting the kicking game going very early on. Now this is Shearer. Test winger playing fullback tonight. Almost through the gap there, but eventually pulled down. Two metres inside Auckland Territory. Michael O'Connor manages to hang on to it this time. Truella waiting for it. Now it's Hasler. Throws the dummy. Has a bit of a dab on his own. Not going far there. Patton the try scorer for Auckland. And Ramsey. Now it's down the blind to Bella. Good tackle from Ramsey underneath. Alexander. Hasler, the Auckland back certainly moving up very quickly and smothering that at classy Aussie back line. Now this is Jackson. That's Pugliata. Out of one, but runs into big slam and Sam Bacco. He drove him into the Carlo Park turf. And some solid defence there from the Kangaroos. Auckland leading by Fortinella. A great start in front of their big home crowd tonight. Now they split it down the line. Agatogio into the line. And a good tackle coming in from Jackson. Now this is Davey Watson. Once again, it's Shelford with the clearing kick, relieving the pressure from Auckland. Hancock picks it up inside his own half. Over the top goes Hansen. And a good tackle underneath from Tawira Nikau. Now Shira. Shelford wrestles him into the turf. Alexander. Now this is Maguire. He's well made second row up. And that's right on the halfway line. Alexander. Staines leaves it behind. And a row party picks it up and he can't get away from Hasler. But Auckland have it. Ten metres short of halfway. Now it's Mann. Oh, big hit from Staines. And over the top goes the captain tonight, Paul Vorton. Sam Penapar. Ramsey. Nickow. Ramsey's back there to clean up. And it goes to Thompson. With a bit of room to move, Thompson. Oh, I just couldn't quite get the ball to hand. But a penalty here to Australia. Referee Shrimpton saying one of the uh, Auckland has used an elbow. <laughs> so it's Shearer. Quite a good kick from the fullback. Takes play to 20 metres out from the Auckland line. Well up, has a run on his own. Row party and Thompson are there. Thompson playing his first game for Auckland tonight has been an impressive start by the big front. Now Maguire, Australia, only two metres out. 
They trail by four to nil. Alexander. Now it goes to Hasler. He keeps it alive. Out to Jackson. And the Auckland defence is solid. 20 metres out again. And now it's Vaughton. He's going to throw it back inside. And back goes standing flat footed there. He still manages to take play 10 metres out. Now it's Alexander. The little chip kick through. Greg Alexander, but Penapa's back there. He's going to be wrapped up in goal. And so it'll be a goal mouth dropout. Kelly Shelford. Open of a close fumble there by Borton. He takes play to about 23 metres out. Kewella waiting for it. Now it's Alexander at the Hasler. Hasler has a bit of a run. Desi Hasler. He's got players on the left, on the right, but he wants to go on his own. And he's almost there, but I think he's dropped the ball. The referee says knock on. So Des Hasler has bombed what should have been a certain try. A let off for Auckland there. Well, good work by Desi Hasler here. Beat the attempted tackle. He had men on the inside, men on the outside, decided to go on his own and should have been able to dive across. The momentum was taking him across, but he let the ball slip out. Now Australia. Back on the attack. They're 20 metres out this time. And this is Bella. And they're inside the five metres on attack. So referee Shrimpton certainly applying the five metre rule tonight. Penalty Auckland. Shelford finding touch, midway between the halfway and the quarter line. Auckland Territory, they, they lead by four to nil. Man. Shelford. Acting as a pivot tonight, out to Thompson. Borton and Maguire. And the tacklers. Now it's Ramsey. The double round, back to Ramsey. Hanson. Ramsey enjoying his turn back in the Auckland number seven jersey. Of course, the regular halfback Phil Bancroft has been called into the Kiwis, giving Ramsey a break. Now down the blind side to Leota. No room to move over there. Trilla and uh, Jackson, the tacklers. Shelford again with the kick. Now it's Hancock with a bit of room to move, but he's not going to get away from the Auckland centres, in particular Dave Watson underneath and Patton over the top. Good defence there. Now Shearer. Trying to go across field, stops. There's no future there, but they sw swing it out to the blind eventually. Now it goes to Staines. Out to Curry, the kick ahead. The chase is on. Now Alexander storming through. I tell you what, he's going to have to be... Uh, the Aucklanders are going to have to be pretty close there, but a penalty coming up. They were a little bit too close, in fact. In the other was Peter Ropati that held on to Greg Alexander. So a penalty to uh, Australia. And once again, we saw the electrifying speed there of Greg Alexander, the Australian halfback. Cruella. Now let's see what the Aussies can do there. Down by four to nil. Staines at dubby half, having a charge for that line. Getting dangerous or close. Big slam and Sam back at home. He can't get the ball down. Held up, a metre out. Bella, standing flat-footed. Got his pass away to Hasler, but it, uh, he couldn't hold on to it. And it's an Auckland ball through Mike Patton. So the Aussies look to be lacking a little bit of enterprise when they get close to that Auckland line.
Kangaroos have dropped the ball about six times in the opening 12 minutes. Now this is Ropati. He's lost it. The referee's going to call a knock on. So the scrum to pack down. 20 metres out from the Auckland line. Ramsey takes it in. Eventually it comes out in Auckland's direction. Alexander. Throws his opposite number into the turf. And this is Patton from Dummy Half. Penifar having a bit of a run down the line. Almost to the quarter line, Auckland Territory. George Mann. He only knows one way to go, and that's straight at the opposition at full speed. Shelford, the clearing kick again. Shearer does well inside his own half. There's no support back there, and he runs into Leota, and also Hanson for Auckland. Ten metres inside Australian Territory. O'Connor. That's Maguire. Joella. Out to Bella. Out of one. But Thompson will hold him up. And Shelford coming in to lend a hand as well. Almost to the halfway. Back out. Not really expecting it. And he does well to keep the ball alive. Joella. Out it goes to Borton. Ten metres inside Auckland Territory. Shira. Agatongi is back there, the Auckland fullback. And Hasley wraps him up, almost on the quarter line. Patton from dummy half. Watson, straight across field. Not a great deal of sense in that one. Leota, straight across field. So Auckland going nowhere. So the Aucklanders bunching on attack, especially around the ruck, and that's the fifth tackle. And again, Shelford clears. Straight into the arms of Shearer. Up over halfway he goes. The ball flies loose. Eventually picked up by O'Connor. And the right winger takes play to about 10 metres inside Auckland Territory. 16 minutes of play. Auckland leading by 4 to nil. Now this is Maguire. He's left it behind. The Aussies certainly have a case of the uh, dropsies tonight. Thompson comes away with it. For Auckland. Now it's Shelford. Patton. Watson. Back to Patton. Lucky for the support. Out it goes to Nicow. To where are Nickow? Where's the support? Can't quite get it away. Backer wraps him up. Nine metres inside Australian territory. Penafar at dummy half. Shelford. Out it goes to. That's Davy Watson. Mike Patton. Hasler's there. Also Alexander. Shelford. Man takes the tackle. Nine metres inside Australian territory now. Row party has a run from dummy half. Doesn't get away from Maguire, and that's the fifth tackle again. Shelford. The high up and under. And allowed it to bounce. The Borton's back there, and Thompson goes straight in. Crushes him into the turf. 20 metres out from the Australian line now. Shearer from dummy half. Thompson and uh, Hanson hold him up on the quarter line. O'Connor. Now, this is Maguire. Alexander, a little bit of room to move. The Aucklanders holding back a bit. 
and Alexander runs out of support until he links up with Bella. Now they switch it wide to Staines, one over the top. This is Hancock. Shows the ball as if to kick. And a good tackle coming in from Penabar. Hancock allowed to get up and run again. Now the Aussies have a big line out. Bella. Alexander. Almost through the gap, but pulled down from behind by Leota. Midway between halfway and the quarter line in Auckland Territory. A little chip through from Bella. Looks like it's going to pay off as well. And finds touch. About 20 metres out from the Auckland line. Pulling out a good minutes to pull it down for Auckland. Ramsey puts it in and takes it out. Pugliata will eventually play it, almost on the quarter line. Hanson runs into some pretty solid stuff there. Bella, Maguire and Vorton. Shelford, the kick once again. And pretty good tactics by Auckland tonight. Relieving the pressure time after time. Shearer. Penapar and Patton will wrap him up on the halfway line. Auckland leading by 4 to nil. 20 minutes gone. And the third match on the Australian tour. The Aussies out to keep their unbeaten record intact tonight. Hasn't been the best of starts by them though. Hancock. Truella. Alexander looking for the runners. There's Bacco almost through the gap back inside to Truella. That's more like it for the Australians. Staines. Jackson. Jackson got away from a couple. Here's trouble. Desi Haslam looking for the runners. Gets it back to Alexander. Back inside now to Bella. Bella gets it back out to Jackson. One over the top to Hancock. He must score. Well, it eventually paid off for the Aussies. They kept the ball alive. And it was Hancock that finished off the movements to level the scores. Michael Hancock. Well, this is typical Australian play. Jackson has the... Just took a moment for the players to link up, but <laughs> when they need them, they're always there. Bella does well there. And here's a overhead basketball type pass out to Hancock for the easiest of tries by this Queensland speedster. Jackson. A long one over the top and it pays off. Caught the Auckland do snapping, but good backing up by Australia and certainly one of the easiest tries Hancock will ever score. The attempted conversion by O'Connor. It's away to the right. So it's four all after 22 minutes of play. The Auckland captain, Kelly Shelford, with the restart. <laughs> now this is Staines in the headgear. He's 10 metres short of halfway. Alexander has luck. Jackson, quick hands here, and it goes to Curry. Won't get away from Kelly Shelford though. Curry will play it, 10 metres short of halfway. Jackson, trying to get involved in this game. Eight metres short of halfway. Truella, Bella, Staines. Got the Auckland defence holding out there in midfield. Now it's Shearer. And I think he's going to beat Pugliata once again. Yes, a great kick by Shearer. So the scrum to pack down on the quarter line almost in uh, Auckland Territory. An Auckland feed and Ramsey takes it out. The fullback. Rangatongia, 20 metres short of halfway. Shelford looking for the runners. This is Hanson. Out to Watson. Watson through the gap, back inside to Patton. Beautiful play. Here's a chance for Auckland. 
Mike Patton inside the Australian Territory. Just couldn't get the weight of the support. He plays it now. It's on the ground, but Auckland have it. And it's back to six. Touched by an Australian. Shelford. No runners there. That's the quarter line in Australian Territory. It's four all at the moment. Drop this much. George Mann, no, he ran away from it. Bad passing, bad uh, combination there on that occasion. And so Auckland after that good lead-up work and give it away to the Aussies. Cruella plays it, stains from dummy half. Mann wrestles him into the turf, 15 metres short of halfway. This is Bella. Out it goes to Maguire. He slips over, makes it easy for the defence. And there are plenty of defenders there for Auckland. Well, back out, and he knows one way to go as well. And that's straight ahead, almost to the halfway. Alexander, the Auckland outside back, certainly moving up very, very quickly. Rex, that goes out to O'Connor, back inside to Shearer. He's up over the halfway line, he leaves it behind, picked up by O'Connor. Now it's Jackson, out it goes to Hasler. Dangerous player, Desi Hasler, with a bit of room to move. Where's the support? Back it goes to um, Alexander. It was touched by an Aucklander. It's still lying loose on the ground. Now it's Bacco. Slamming Sam Bacco. He's got support there in Truella to the quarter line. Inside Auckland Territory. Alexander. Back inside it goes to Borton. He manages to get it back to Bella. And now they spin a ride through Staines. And he's smothered up on the quarter line over there. Good tackle from Peter Ropati and Kelly Shelter. Down the blind goes big Martin Bella. Shelford underneath. Over the top goes David Watson. Now, it's Dale Shearer. Almost straight through Dale Shearer. Got up and starts to go again. I think he's in this time. Yes, oh, well, a lap there by the Auckland defence. But good work by this classy fullback. Dale Shearer. It's Australia hit the front by 8-4. Well, this is a bad defensive lap by the Aucklanders. But pressure from the Australians finally paid off. There's Shearer. He's another one of the Aussies with speed to burn. Hit the ground, but he wasn't effectively tackled. Got up and managed to slide across. So, Australia taking advantage of uh, that defensive lap there. And Shearer, well, there was no one in front of him the second time. Eight to four. Successful attempt there from Michael O'Connor. That's more like it from this dual international. So Australia now leading by 10 to 4 over Auckland. We've had 28 minutes in play. Now it's Australia trying to run it out of their own half. Two metres short of halfway. Borton. Penapar waiting for it. Jackson's there to put him to ground. Midway between the halfway and the quarter line. Now in Auckland Territory. Let's see if they can fight back now after that explosive start by the locals. Man. Takes it up. Eventually they put him to ground. Shelford spinning wide out to Watson. And a penalty. The Aussies inside the five metres. So Shelford kicking for the terrace touchline. Penalties going Auckland's way by three to two in the first half. Thompson charging onto it. Another penalty to Auckland. The Australians inside the 10 metres this time. Sam Bacco says to referee Bill Shrimpton that one of the Aucklanders elbowed him. Shrimpton says, I won't have any of that. He's given him five minutes in the send bin. We'll go over and call his heels. Now Paul Borton, the Aussie captain, complaining to Shrimpton as well. 
So Slayman and Sam Bako into the sin bin for five minutes. Auckland with a chance to run and truly fight back now. They trail by 10 to 4. Shelford finds touch. This time, 12 metres out from the Australian line. Set move here. More like a rugby ball. And Thompson comes off second best. Taking plenty of time to get up, but now it's Shelford. He throws it out to David Watson. David Watson's in. Yes, a try to Auckland. After that set move, they spun it wide. It's a Auckland hit back. It's now 10 to 8. And the crowd, well and truly rising to their feet on that occasion. Well, after that set move, it was Rogue Party. Ramsey, and good understanding here from Shelford. I'll tell you what, it was fairly marginal, that one. And the referee gave Auckland the benefit of the doubt. And it was David Watson who's been starring in the back so far. Copped a bit of a head high as well. And a good fight back by Auckland through David Watson. <laughs> Kelly Shelford adds the extra points. So it's now squared at 10 points all after 30 minutes of play. And Greg Alexander with the restart. The Auckland's, Auckland is playing a bit of soccer there. Eventually it's ha uh, Hanson picking it up. He's 12 metres out from his own line. Penapar trying to get involved from the right wing. George Mann takes play to the quarter line. Auckland Territory. Francis Leota trying to find a way through. Ramsey, Shelford, the chip over the top, into open spaces. David Watson trying to toe, keep it on the toe, he does so. Picked up by Shelford, this should be another try. Ramsey, out it goes now to the second rower. Back inside. Oh, great work by Auckland. Shelford, pulled out, only two metres out. The crowd, at fever pitch, now it's Watson. He leaves it behind to Wiradikia, back to Thompson for the Aussies regrouping in defence. So that's the handover, six tackle. Oh, great stuff from Auckland there. Now Paul Bolton being dragged back this Auckland side, fired up tonight. It's 10 all. But a penalty as George Mann crosses the line. No try. The Aucklanders were inside the five metres. The crowd, well, they don't like it. And the referee blew it up pretty early on before Mann was careering over the line. So relief for the Aussies. Well, the Aucklanders certainly showing some enterprise early on. Shelford having a big game, leading Auckland tonight. Good work from uh, Watson, the try score earlier on. Bit of a fumble there from uh, Ramsey to Wiranikau. And this is more like the Australians have been playing over the past a week or so. But eventually, Shelford takes a tackle. Now Staines with a bit of a fumble. As the fight goes on, Bella and Mike Thompson. The referee has pulled a halt to play. Well, a bit of a shame this because the game has been played in pretty good spirits up until now. The Thompson and Bella are in the centre of that one. Sam Bacco is back on the field after his five minutes of the sin bin. calling Bella out as well as his captain Vaughan Thompson from Auckland and his captain Kelly Shelford I 
Well, this is where it all started. It was away from the run of play. Bella and Thompson. And the penalty goes Australia's way. And they find touch on the quarter line in Auckland Territory. Ten all. About six minutes of play left in the first half. Certainly went an electric first half. They Sam back out. Nice look to shade forward. Truella at dummy half. Staines. Rossi's working into a good position now. Truella. Alexander. Hasler. This is out Jackson. Shearer. Back inside it goes to Tony Curry. He throws it out to an Aucklander over there. Pogliata comes away with it. Mike Patton, 20 metres out from his own line. George Mann, George Mann threw a couple of tackles, a good run by the big prop. But they've lost it, and Australia come away with it. Another chance for Australia to show their flair. Morton takes the tackle, 20 metres out, now he's lost it. The referee's going to call for a scrum. Morton's not happy. And he lost the ball. So the scrum to pack down 15 metres inside Auckland Territory. An Auckland feed, Ramsey puts it in and takes it out. Shelford. Shearer and Hasler wrap him up. Angatogi are up from fullback. Shane Hansen, he's held up. Down the blind, Nick Al just manages to uh, hold on to it. Now Shelford, the clearance. Straight into the arms of Dale Shearer, he's knocked it on. A mistake, Dale Shearer. So the scrum, midway between the halfway and the quarter line, and Australian territory. Hanson takes it away from the back of the scrum. Out to Leona. They spin it wide. Watson. This time there's no way through for Davy Watson. Now it's Shelford. Back the other way. Switch of play. Inside to Van. But a good tackle from Hasler. Shelford the run around with Peter Ropati. Shelford, drop goal, nowhere near it. Shearer has it this time. Pushes out of one. But Thompson will wrap him up with Ramsey on the uh, quarter line. Australian Territory, 10 all, just a couple of minutes left in the first half. Maguire. Good tackle from Ropati. Now this is Bacco. Alexander, the little jet kick through. But Pugliata comes off the left wing, takes it well. Pushes off a couple. Eventually takes the tackle. Almost on the halfway line. And that is, in fact, a half time. And a fair indication of this match so far. And I think the locals can be pretty pleased with that. At halftime, it's Auckland 10, Australia 10. Welcome back for the second half of this close encounter at Carlow Park. 10 all. And Shira, first touch of the ball in the second half. Well, back in 1985, with these two sides last played each other on this ground, Australia ran away and won by 50 to 10. 
I'm sure Rockland have that in their minds tonight. They're not going to let it uh, slip away. Bella. Takes play to the quarter line. No changes on either side. And Sam Bacco. Not happy with that one. He slams his fist into the ground. Throw it to nobody. So the first scrum of the uh, second half. From memory, I don't think uh, Australia had a feed into a scrum. They certainly haven't won one. And there's another one to Auckland. Now it's Watson. He had a strong first half. Almost away from Hasler. The pull down from behind. Peter Rowe party. Ramsey. Down down the blind side. Thompson. Wrestled into the turf. But Auckland. Inside the Australian quarter. Now it's Ramsey. Held up by the Aussie props, Bacco and Bella. Hanson throws it back inside to, to Leota. He left it behind. Play on, says the referee. Peter Roparty almost there. He's one beater out. George Mann head down and charging for the line, but he's held up. But the referee says that that is the handover, the sixth tackle. And then. Ever so close on that occasion. Now Bella runs it out for his own try line. 10 all the score. Trewella. Staines. A man is there to wrap him up. Trewella almost to the quarter line. Shearer with the clearing kick. That's fullback Carl Mungatongia. Hasn't been asked to do much in this game so far. He takes a tackle of Hasler. Now it's Pugliata. Hasler and Truella have him wrapped up. Five metres short of halfway. Auckland Territory down the blind side. Ramsey lucky for the runners. And this is Hanson. Jalford. A chip over the top once again. And Watson has it. Where's the support? Davy Watson back inside, but Patton ran away from it. And it's an Australian ball. Well, good work, good understanding once again from Shelford and Watson. But now there's a penalty coming up to Auckland. Martin Bella looks at the referee and says, what's that for? And it was for the Shepherd. And so this should be a gift two points. That's the angle. Kelly Shelford doing the goal kicking tonight in the absence of Phil Bancroft and Peter Brown. He's having a big game. Captain tonight and leading his side by example. Shelford. It's there. Auckland hit the front again. After three minutes of the second half, Auckland 12, leading Australia 10. So the restart from Greg Alexander. Sammy Penapar, off the right wing, having a run. He's 20 metres out from the Auckland line now. Ramsey to the quarter line. Now it's Mann. Bacco has him. McGuire also in there. Now Shelford, 
Larry Kidd. Hancock picks it up. He's going to try and run straight through him. But he's been given a real serve over there. Watson and Patton. Now, a stoppage. Penalty Australia. The Aucklanders not allowing the Aussies to play the ball correctly. Very impressed with the defence and the attack from the Auckland centres tonight. Dave Watson and Patton. This is Bella. He throws it back to nobody. Auckland have it. Good work, Sam Penapar. So this Aussie machine is certainly not in working order tonight. Still a long way to go, but so far so good for Auckland in front of the home crowd. They're getting plenty of support, and this is Ramsey. Shelf of the long one. Watson, Patton, back inside. Pugliata to the halfway line. Auckland back line certainly going very well tonight against these classy backs from Australia. Now they spin a wide man. Out it goes to Mangatongia. Carl Mangatongi, he's got Kelly Shelton looming up on the inside. Not quick enough, though. Shearer was very sound under pressure there. But Auckland inside the Australian 22. Shelford out to Hansen. Looking for Peter Ropardi inside. He gets it back to Francis Leona. A great try to Auckland. Sensational stuff. Oh, this crowd going wild. Auckland 16. Australia 10. Well, it was good lead-up work by Carl Mungatongia. Shelford, Hanson, good understanding here. Road party, and he just pops it up to Francis Leona. He says, thank you very much. Try, almost underneath the uprights. Should be another gift two points for Shelford. Shelford, trying to add the extra points. Well, the crowd tells the story straight between the uprights. So after six minutes of play, have we got a ball over on our hands here? Inside the rope, buddy. He leaves it behind. The referee's going to give it to uh, Bacco. So now let's see what the Australians can do. Can they fight back? Jackson, flat footed. That's not like the Australians that we've seen in the previous two matches. Now it's Hasler with a bit of room to move. Now to Michael O'Connor. Pollyanna has it as well as Mann. Inside Auckland Territory, Alexander, McGuire, the Auckland defence, going well so far in the second half, now Struella having a run, but Hanson's had an lucky moment, the fifth tackle, Alexander, Hasler, Jackson, puts a boot to it, not a bad little kick, but Mugatoga should be over there to clean up, and stays in touch as well, good work by the Auckland fullback, one metre out from his own line, Patton. Thompson having a run. Road party straight across field. Auckland pinned down inside their own quarter. Ramsey. Leota. Quick hands. 
out to Pettifer. He takes on Hancock. Pettifer leaves it behind. And that's the fifth tackle. Ramsey plays it. And good work by Australia. No stolen at back. So now they're in another attacking position. Maguire plays it. Hasler. Curry. Jackson. Out to Shearer. Shearer with a bit of room to move. Dale Shearer back inside. It goes to O'Connor. Makatongia. Good defence underneath. Penalty Australia. Makatongia. Trying to steal the ball after the tackle. A quick tap now. Back out. Can't release the ball. Referee says play on. Shelford got away with it. Mangatongia throws the dummy, but Truella's there to wrap him up. Shelford, clearing kick immediately. Relieves the pressure again. Hancock now. And good tackle from Fenabar. Bella, almost to the halfway line. Auckland lead, 18 to 10, we've had 10 minutes of the second half. Horton, trying to rally the troops. Captain Australia for only the second time tonight. That's Maguire, midway between the halfway and the quarter line. Auckland Territory as Hasler spins it wide out to Alexander. Greg Alexander, good work, out to Jackson. He's back inside to Shearer. Shearer gets it over there to Curry, and that's a try. That's more like it from the Australians. So they've hit back. Tony Curry, Auckland 18, Australia 14. Well, this is better understanding by the Australian backs as they're out to Alexander. It's been pretty quiet tonight, Alexander, but good work there to Jackson. Inside to fullback Dale Shearer. And Shearer got it away to Tony Curry. And he goes across unmarked. Good try. Michael O'Connor, not the easiest of kicks from out wide. And it's waved away. The try scorer, Tony Curry, but the try unconverted, so it's still Auckland leading Australia by 18 to 14. From the kickoff, Shearer does well to get away from a couple. Support not there, and he takes a tackle. About 15 metres short of halfway. Now this is Becco, pushes off Shelford. Underneath goes Ramsey, and over the top, Pugliata. He's three metres short of halfway. Bella. Oh, he's a strong man, there's Martin Bella, and he almost got it away to Truella. Good work by O'Connor to throw it back inside. But Ramsey has it for Auckland. Thompson. Midway between the halfway and the quarter line, Australian Territory. Watson, no, no way to go on the open side, so it's back to the left. Maguire's there, Maguire and Tawana are going to put him into the turf. Scrum. Watson wanted a penalty. The referee, Billy Shrimpton, says no, well, back to Scrum. Ten metres inside Australian territory.
So that's Australia's first scrum win of the match, believe it or not. They've made a replacement as well. San Beko is off. Drop forward, number eight, San Beko, leaving the field. But now Auckland have it. Sammy Penapar coming away with it. Now this is Patton. Auckland lead 18 to 14. Peter Rowe party having a run. Shelford, Patton. As the outside backs moving up quickly that time, cutting off play. Now this is Mike Thompson. The high up and under from Shelford, plenty of pressure there on uh, Shearer, but he was equal to the task, in fact, very equal to it. Got away from a few. Oh, Alexander was leaving up on the inside. Sure, just couldn't quite get it away to him in time. And it would have been a certain try that I'd say, but quick hands now. And this is Bradley Clyde. The replacement on for Australia. First touch of the ball. He's a youngster in the Australian team and played in the test match on Sunday. Great tackle from David Watson. Oh, he's had a big one tonight. He's shaken Hasler as well. Now it's Bella. He hasn't stopped charging forward all day, Martin Bella. Torella having a run from dummy half. Plenty of room there, but no support for him. But he takes play almost to the quarter line in Auckland Territory. That's the fifth tackle. Now it's Alexander, the long one over the top. Danger out wide. Tony Curry out to Hancock. And Hancock not quite there, no. Penalty. Double movement. So Michael Hancock, double movement, he's been penalised. The speedster from Queensland couldn't quite get away out of uh, Penapar's tackle. He was grounded. Watch closely. He was actually tackled, says the referee Shrimpton. The elbows were down. And he's moved forward. George Mann receiving some attention there. Now Auckland trying to run it out of their own quarter. Row party with the dummy. Now Shelford, little chip over the top. O'Connor has it though for Australia. Almost to the 20 minute mark in the second half and that's Auckland leading by 18 to 14. This is Fortin, throws the dummy. Back inside to Trawella, he was well and truly wrapped up. Hanson and Thompson there. Now it's Hasler, what can Desi Hasler do? Not a great deal. Knockbacks is a referee and Dale Shearer, diving on it. That's a try. Well, Dale Shearer, a little bit of individual brilliance, caught the, caught the Aucklanders hopping there. So it's now 18 all. Well, this is a shame for Auckland. They were well and truly asleep there. Knockbacks is a referee. Shearer, the race is on. And yes, a fair try there. Watson couldn't beat him to it. Beautiful skills here from Dale Shearer. He played on the wing in the test match. He's at fullback tonight. And, yes, a great try. Straight between the uprights, so the Australians are back in front. Australia 20, Auckland 18. We've had 19 minutes of play. So 
replacement warming up for Auckland, number 15, Tammy Tangaloa. Australians have already made one change. Sam Becko goes off. And number 15, Bradley Clyde on for the green and goals. This is Dave Trewello. Now can Auckland fight back? It's been a great effort so far by this local side, the national champions. Hasler, Alexander, Clyde, the Canberra Raider. One of the stars for New South Wales in the State of Origin series this year. Now the try scorer, Shearer. Pogliata racing back, but Mangataki will beat him to it. Doesn't get away from Hasler. Pogliata, he's knocked it on at dummy half. Well, a costly mistake there. So the Australians have another feed in the scrum. They almost gave it away though. And this is Greg Alexander, he's going to score! Oh, a classy little halfback from Australia. Auckland fell asleep down the blind side. Now you just cannot give a player like Greg Alexander any room like that. Australia out to a handy lead now. Well, they almost gave it away here. And Ramsey just couldn't quite dive on it. And the little dummy from Alexander, there was nobody home. Great try. Well, he's been a little bit quiet. Possibly not the, his best game so far on tour. But I guess that makes up for a lot of it. So it's now Australia 24, leading Auckland 18. Kick to come after that try from Greg Alexander. Here's the attempted conversion. No, it's away to the right. Greg Alexander's try not converted. So it's Australia 24, Auckland 18 after 23 minutes. The restart from Kelly Shelfin. Now, Tammy Tangaloa, number 15, is on for Auckland. And Mike Thompson has been replaced. Thompson, I think, can feel pretty happy with his first game for Auckland. So now, it's all in front of Auckland. The Aussies have a bit of breathing space. They lead by six points. There's going to be some tied footballers after this one. Maguire, 20 metres short of halfway. Staines. Wrapped up by the Auckland second rowers, Leota and Tawira. Nikau. Now the blind side, Alexander throws the dummy. Doesn't get away this time, but he gets his pass back inside to Hasler. Desi Hasler. Can't find a way through. He's 10 metres short of halfway. Shearer. Carl Mangatongia back there. <laughs> Just managed to hang on to it. And his tackle 20 metres short of halfway. Ramsey, the new man on the field. TV Tangaloa. From a junior Kiwi. Now they spell it wide. Patton. No way through there, though. Shelford, the spin around at once, and he's left it behind. The Aussies don't seem to want it eventually. It's going to be dived on over there by Maguire, but the referee's going to pull it up for a scrub. Australian feed. Alexander puts it in, takes it out, out to Hasler, back inside to Shearer, back to Hasler, Hasler with a little dummy, Desi Hasler, good cover defence coming in from the loose forward, Hanson though, now the blind side they go, Trewella, he's only 10 metres out, Dave Trewella, Shearer, Bella, the dummy. This time he's not going to get the pass away. Ropardi underneath. Leota over at the top for the Aussies. 
A very strong position, 10 metres out. Now it's Alexander. They've left it behind. It's an Auckland ball. Penapa at dummy half. Ramsey. Man. Charges into the Aussie defence. Morton and Maguire are there to beat him. Row party. Still inside his own 22. The long one. The bounce favours Patton. Over the quarter line he goes. The fifth tackle. Where Shelford with the clearing kick. There he is. Gets it away. And Shearer has it. Bit of a dance around with uh, <laughs> Davey Watson. And eventually Shearer takes a tackle 10 metres short of half five. So it's Australia 24, Auckland 18. Hancock in for the wing looking for a taste of the action. Knock on. Little knock on to the play the ball there. Hancock didn't agree. An Auckland feed into the scrub. Ramsey puts it in. He'll take it out, or in fact, he was beaten to it by Hanson. There's a long one out to Watson. Now there's a penalty to Auckland. The Australian outside backs up inside the five metres from that scrub. Penalties are six apiece. Shelford not electing to have a go at the two points. He needs a six-pointer. And they're inside the Australian 22 as the crowd roars. Tammy Tangaloa. Now, here's another penalty coming up to Auckland. Australia inside the 10 metres from the tap on that occasion. Now what are they going to do? Shelf with the captain moving over. And a kick for the railway grandstand touchline. What's that move if the Auckland has got planned for us this time? They trail by six points. It's Australia 24, leading Auckland 18. Another charge on there. They're getting pretty close to the line. Not quite though, man held up. Shelford. Alexander wraps him up, 10 metres out. Now it's Ramsey, there's a little kick through. Shearer's back there and he knocks it over the dead ball line. So it'll be a goal mouth dropout. is taking plenty of time with this goal mouth drop out. They have a six point cushion at the moment. Ramsey eventually gets control of it. Now he's 20 metres inside the Australian Territory. This is Watson running down the blind. Keeping it alive. Out to Shelford. Kelly Shelford with a bit of room to move. The Auckland captain. Oh, great run. He's having a big game tonight. He's pulled down. 10 metres out. From dummy half goes George Mann. He's two metres out. Auckland trying to hit back. They need a six-pointer desperately. Well, there's punches coming in everywhere there from Bruce Maguire, right in front of the referee. He certainly wasn't trying to hide that. Auckland take the quick tap. Watson, David Watson, Keeping it alive, Shane Hanson charging for the line, he's in! Try to Auckland. Sustained pressure pays off. So there's just two points in it. Shane Hanson. Well, it was a quick tap from Auckland, and that was...
was the end of it all. Hanson scoring. Well, there were plenty of defenders there, but he managed to slip through somehow. So it's now Australia 24, Auckland 22. We have 10 minutes of play remaining. Exciting final 10 minutes of this match. Will this be the equaliser? Yes, straight between the uprights. The crowd was the home team are back in it. Auckland 24, Australia 24. 10 minutes to go. Auckland have another change. Number 14, T.R. Rupati. The brother of number nine, Peter Rodbardi, on for Auckland, replacing Kevin Pulliata. There he is, he played for the President's 13 in Palmerston North last week. He's a former Kiwi tourist. Sam Penapo. Peter Rodbardi. Neville Ramsey. That's Maguire in there before. Gave away the penalty, tried with the last Auckland try. And plays it. Now it's Shelford, David Watson. Jackson, the tackler there. Ramsey. That's the quarter line, Auckland Territory. 24 all. So another clearing, clearing kick from Shelford on the halfway line. Michael O'Connor takes it on his fingertips. We haven't seen much of O'Connor tonight. Carry from dummy half out to Shearer. The Aucklanders have to go low now. They can't allow these Aussies any room to move. Bella, Shearer, dummy all over the place. Now it's out to Maguire, but Nan's there, as well as his mother, his clubmate, T.R.O. Party. The blind, Staines, Bradley Clyde. 20 metres inside Auckland Territory. Hasler, now it's Alexander. Gordon, back to nobody. It's a Auckland ball. Neville Ramsey has it. He's crawling along the ground. Had a couple of extra metres there. Watson at dummy half. Thrown into the turf on that occasion by Alexander. And Auckland have it. Now it's Mann. Crunch. Wire. And Mann. Shoulder to shoulder. Now the blind side. Pangaloa. Over the halfway line he goes. 24 all. Seven minutes of play remaining. Here's a penalty to Auckland. Martin Bell has been called up for stopping on one of the Auckland players' hands. And Kelly Shelford is going to have a shot at goal. In fact, now he hands it over to Tia Ropati, the replacement that's on for Auckland. Well, he's one of the leading goal kickers in the Auckland club competition. Right in. Playing for Bungaree East. Whether this is in his range, well, I guess we'll all know very shortly. An important kick, this one. 24 all, seven minutes of play remaining.
Tia Ropati. Away to the left of the uprights. Card remains, 24 all as Jackson runs it out, got out of one. He'll play it 10 metres out. This Auckland side not giving up. The Aussies stretched at the moment. Trying desperately to keep their unbeaten record intact on tour. Stays at dummy half. But then still going, as well as Hanson. Now it's Morton to the corner line. Shearer up from fullback. He runs into Francis Leona. That's the fifth tackle. And that's a handover. Oh, bad mistake by the Aussies there. And so now a penalty to Auckland right in front of the uprights. They're not going to like that. And this should be a gift two points to Auckland. Let's have a look at this again. Greg Alexander threw the ball away. And the referee says you didn't play it. In fact, that was at the handover. Kelly Shelford with a chance to put Auckland in front here. I don't know whether I, I agree with the referee on that occasion. It was the handover. And it's straight between the uprights. So Auckland have hit the front. They lead by 26 to 24. We have only about one or two minutes left on the clock. A little kick through by the Australians and Peter Jackson has picked it up. So they look a little bit rattled now. Now it's Alexander. He was the one that threw the ball away on the handover before that gave Auckland the, the penalty. So Auckland. They lost 50 to 10 to Australia in 1985. Can they hold on to this two-point lead now? Trawella at dummy half. One over the top. Maguire's left it behind. The crowd roars as Kelly Shelford, who's had such a big day for Auckland tonight, hangs on to it. Tangaloa running from dummy half. Auckland are going to play out this last set of six tackles. There's Hanson. He's 10 metres short of halfway. Down the blind side we go. Tangaloa running strongly. Time almost up on the clock. Auckland 26, Australia 24. Shelford. Now that's the fifth tackle. Tangaloa, no, that's a rope party. O'Connor is back there. This could be the last chance Australia have to set of six tackles. O'Connor allowed to run a cross field. Eventually knocked over. Two metres short of halfway. Vaughan. Now it's sheer up, quick hands, out to nobody, picked up by Jackson. He's got Clyde on the outside, he takes a tackle, he's two metres inside Auckland territory. Hasler, they're spreading it wide to nobody, eventually he's picked up over there by Hancock. He's got support out wide, this is Tony Curry, Tony Curry throws a dummy, looking for support, that's the quarter line in Auckland territory. 26-24. It's almost full time on the clock, possibly the last chance now for the Australians. Trewella has it. Can Auckland hold on to this two-point lead? Now it's Alexander, what's he going to try? This classy halfback who's had a mixed game tonight. Still going, looking for support. Oh, Greg Alexander, can he get the pass away? There's a try to the Aussies, no, he's held up. And it's an Auckland ball. Oh, how close can you go? The referee says play it, George Mann. 
The Aussies looked as if they were home and hosed then. And it's all over. Sammy Panapa raises his hands in the air. The crowd storm onto the field. Well, what a game of rugby league. At half time, there was still anyone's match, 10 all. Peter Ropardi will have to be escorted from the field. There'll be some sore bodies in the dressing rooms after that one. But congratulations to Auckland. They've certainly pulled out the big one for their main game of the year against Australia. Auckland, 26. Australia, 24. At Carlow Park.